all right guys what is up you're looking at Julian's way and today is a cheat day and I've decided well it was partially my friend's idea as well and uh, I haven't had a Chinese since maybe in February last so basically what we're doing today I'm gonna get a second opinion from my friend right here and he's gonna do the tail test as well so Guyana has a kind of reputation for probably the best Chinese I would say in the Caribbean and one of the best Chinese in the world not the healthiest in terms of taste and that kind of thing yeah I know people that go abroad and they come back the first thing they want is Chinese I know they try to take it on the plane and that sort of stuff or they eat that most of the times they're here not because they cannot get out of food but because it's that good but like I say not the healthiest it's kind of oily some is more oily so there are a lot of Chinese shops just like in other places like like almost every village or every street there's like a, a Chinese every corner there's a Chinese so some people might rate some a bit more ex exquisite exclusive and stuff like that so we've had different Chinese and there's one in a place called Kitty Niwa Chinese that's one of the best most popular one that I know and I read that all over the one that is viral here people say it's golden pagoda and I don't agree with it but I've tasted both before he's tasted one so he's gonna try the golden pagoda the one that's viral but I think we both rate Niwa as being a better Chinese but I'm gonna taste this back I had this on show day which was October 19th uh, 2019 and that's what I carb up with partially for the show so without further ado uh let's get into this and uh yeah let me guy let me show you guys uh what it looks like this here is the golden pagoda all right i just had to put it in a plate the box i already separated like he took some i took some from both and this here is what the new has as you can see it's just a simple fried rice it's not the special order or the one that comes with pork and broccoli and stuff like that but the golden pagoda it didn't have any carrots or cabbage let me say that the new one did have cabbage and carrots so the veggie kind of people that's a point to them for those who don't care that would matter this is the golden pagoda pepper some people kind of read this and the new one came with a uh, ketchup in a ziploc packet and your pepper is more kind of mustard looking so i'm going to do a taste test on that as well separate with the food but my friend here he doesn't want to have the pepper he's not a pepper guy so i'm going to try to get this down the new pepper and the golden pagoda pepper hope i'm pronouncing it right all right so I'm gonna go and do the new off first. All right, cause this is my first reference. I'm back in this. I can already see like it has a bit less oil. So, definitely need more in my mouth. wasn't bad it's a little it's a little dry it's just a little a little dry all right and uh let me see what the chicken tastes like so this is what the chicken looks like of course and uh don't usually eat chicken skin anymore period especially fast food places like kfc and so on no but i'm gonna do this this is thin it's roasted it's boiled and roasted. Yeah, it's roasted. My friend is just taking me off here and telling me, yeah, it's roasted, so it's not fried. Up. All right, so that wasn't bad, but I don't know. I, I did expect it to be a little better from what I recall, especially since I didn't have it in a while. So I'm going to do the golden for golden now. So. Yeah, the pepper is already on here guys again this is what it looks like 
But what, what I like about the, the new op before I try this out, it's not that oily, so that's another point for that. So let me see this here. This is a viral one. This is what people see is the best Chinese in the country. A lot of people say that. So a little bit first with some pepper on it. Alright, this taste is better. It is better. And um, why it is better it's too? More flavorful. It's more flavor and it's a bit more sweet. It's a little bit more sweet. If you're not like the sweet kind of type or saucy kind of type, you can go with the Nua. I think the Nua is a bit more healthy. This has a little bit more oil. You can see it. You can see it. I'm not going to hold it up here together. The plates are very heavy, especially now how I'm losing weight. So, yeah. <laughs> This is better, so the Golden Pagoda wins by taste. Healthiness in terms of the oil, I would rate this. And the new chicken is a little bit dry to me, so I'm gonna try out this chicken here. Mm. They're about the same. Yeah, I agree with my friend. They're about the same. My friend says that it's it's about you you he says the chicken is about the same and I agree with it. I don't really there's no difference. It's a, both a little bit dry, but that's how the chicken is compared to like uh, fast food like KFC and stuff. Our uh, Chinese uh, chicken is a bit dry, but it's roasted. All right, the fry one, the fry one isn't that dry, but I do not want the fry one. This is already enough oil for me. Dieting, no dieting, looking good or no looking good. I'm not gonna put that among the oil. Try to have that among the oil in my body. So definitely guys. This golden pagoda is the better one in terms of taste and I think overall the rice is more flavorful for somebody who wants to eat rice, who likes rice, who likes flavor. Um the noir is more for like a health conscious person, mm -hmm. right? A person who wants to have a have have a cheat meal, but not but be conscientious of what they're putting in still, like sitting on the fence. Sitting on the fence. So you heard it from my boy there, and I agree. The noir is a little bit more dry, and if you're a rice person, definitely want to go with that. The little more healthy food would be the noir. So that's it uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more of the golden pagoda and some of that chicken and I'm gonna probably mix the two I do the, the, those sort of stuff in terms of pepper taste it's about preferences it's not a big deal here both pepper taste good but I would go with this one this one looks a little bit more safe for the, the stomach if you know what I mean because Chinese pepper has a, a reputation of cleansing <laughs> No, I'm just kidding about that, but you know where I'm coming from. So that's it. I might do some more uh, Chinese video around Guyana. I we had like a couple more places in mind, but didn't want to do all in one video and just buy a bunch of Chinese food that I know I'm not going to eat that amount of rice anyways. So that's it, guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Did I miss anything? No, I don't no. think so. No, I don't you think covered so. Everything. You covered Cover the pepper. chicken, the taste, the pepper. The amount was about the same in the boxes, as you, you could see. You should note that the condiments, specifically the pepper, is unique to the Chinese. That's something you, you need to remember. Yeah. Every Chinese here carries a particular yeah. style of pepper. Well, that's another thing. Since I'm talking about international and taste, every Chinese, like the condiments, like the pepper and stuff like that in the ketchup, it has a different taste. Their ketchup is a bit more watery. Chinese ketchup. Definitely not, not my thing. And the pepper, I would have to taste them separate without the Chinese, but with the Chinese food and the flavor, it's really hard to tell, so I'm not gonna try to make up stuff and the like. But every Chinese pepper has a different taste. Some people like the food, but not the pepper, and it's particular. Some people prefer not to have pepper with pepper. Some people look forward to certain Chinese pepper with the food, 
as much as the Chinese it's a big thing like if they forget the pepper they would go back and make a big deal but yeah Guyana I think I would say yeah when it comes to Chinese food I think we are probably the best in the Caribbean and probably one of the best if not the best in the world I'm not <laughs> joking I've been to a couple of other places in the world and they have a little bit more healthy probably tasting not that tasty Chinese food so you wouldn't want to have like even like a junk food and it doesn't taste like junk food or it doesn't it tastes too healthy could also um my experience also was that we have family in the Canada and the United States and Cayman Islands. They all ask whenever someone's traveling here to send Chinese. Yeah. Freeze it and send it. Exactly what I said. He's, he's reminding me again about what, what I said. People ask most Chinese when they're uh, going on vacation or they're visiting, whether which part of the world you might be in. If they can freeze the Chinese, if they can even smuggle it in. And this is true, this is great facts. It's that good. I'm not exaggerating. It's that good. The first thing people want to have when they touch down, they don't want to have no burgers. They might have a little craving for some food, but they, they get that over there. They can make that in themselves over in the States or wherever. But the Chinese food, it's got to be right here. You've got to know the hot spot. And the Golden Pagoda is winning right now, and I agree. I really hold it, the Noir in front, but I think that's because it's healthy. Anyway, this video. It's going on too long and I do not want that to happen. Please like, share and subscribe again and hit that bell button. Any questions, please feel, please feel free to ask. <laughs> the food is so good, man. My, my, my tongue is rolling on my lips, so yeah. Please feel free to ask and hit that bell button again. And thanks for your time, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. And peace and take care and stay safe until my next video.